Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, by uh, early to mid-February standards, not so bad today. We've got lots of sunshine and dry weather and temperatures. Yeah, they're a little colder than average for the time of year, but you know, certainly could be a lot worse. Live City Cam picture showing the sunshine and the fresh blanket of snow, which is uh, going to be melting away on the roadways very soon if it hasn't already. Temperatures at 27 in Providence, 27 in Coventry, Charlestown 28, just clicked over to 28 there in Coventry, 27 in Newport, New Bedford right now now at 28 live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar nice and quiet. We're scanning southeastern mass Cape Cod looking extremely quiet across our immediate area. We've got lots of sunshine, barely a cloud in the sky. That's the way it should stay through the afternoon. 27 degrees at Picasso Bay Retirement living in Johnston. They've got a wind fairly busy from the northwest at 14 miles an hour. So at times it feels like it's in the uh, teens with that wind chill factor down here at URI at the bundle up with uh, because of that wind chill factor. 29 degrees, feeling like the teens. At least you've got blue skies out there and dry conditions. Satellite radar picture showing again that very cool little swirl in the clouds here, an area of low pressure that was up near Maine, diving on off to the south and east. May clip the uh, Cape with a little bit of snow. Other than that, it's nice and quiet here in Rhode Island. We'll, we're going to be seeing high pressure build in for the next couple of days, and that's going to keep us nice and dry, taking you into the evening hours, looking at dry weather, taking you into your Tuesday still quiet into your Wednesday, still quiet. Now we take you into your uh, Wednesday evening. Notice some clouds off to our south. We'll see the clouds thicken up, I think, Wednesday night and for the daytime on Thursday. And then we turn our attention to a potential coastal storm, which is looking more and more likely, getting some new information in regarding the track of the storm and potential strength. And these forecasts will get a little bit better over the coming days. But I'm pretty much thinking that we're not going to be seeing a storm going out to sea. In fact, the one computer model that was holding out has kind of merged a little bit further closer to southern New England. So I'm thinking that we're going to be seeing a path somewhere in here. If it goes a little bit further to the west, which is seemingly unlikely now, we would see a little bit more in the a lot more in the way of rain. I think we're going to be seeing some snow turning over to a mixture of precipitation as the track would be somewhere in here between Cape Cod and at what we call that benchmark 40 degrees north and 70 degrees west. If it goes right over there, then we are looking at uh, potentially heavy snow if there's enough cold air around, which there could potentially be. Of course, we can get some more information on that at our blog. That's at WPRI.com. Just cl click on uh, weather, look for the blog site, and all kinds of new information there for you regarding that. 30 degrees at the bus stops this afternoon. It'll be cold and dry. Hats, gloves, coats, certainly necessary. Wind chill factors will make 30 degrees on the east side feel more like it's like 15 to 20 degrees. A little nippy out there. 30 in Warwick, 31 in Cranston, Riverside, around 31 degrees this afternoon. Along the coastline, Low 30s should do it. 29 degrees in Hope Valley. Lots of sunshine up in northern Rhode Island. I'm thinking a high around 28 in Barville. Same for Woonsocket and Cumberland. Southeastern Mass temperatures with lots of sunshine all the way up to 31 there in Fall River. 31 degrees in New Bedford. Here's the seven day future cast. Kind of a cold start to the day tomorrow with temperatures down around 10, getting into the mid 20s during the afternoon hours. Wednesday, we're looking at dry weather, sunshine, temperatures up around 28 degrees. There's that potential storm for Thursday. And again, for now, we're expecting a snow turning over to a mix. It could change. We don't know how much of uh, what we will get just yet. Friday, we're looking at dry weather. Saturday, maybe some snow showers, maybe uh, dry weather on Sunday, about 35 degrees. Sounds like kind of a tricky storm. Then, TJ, it huh? sure is. And don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast with you. Uh, you can just point your web browser from any computer to find our uh, app for the smartphone or tablets. All right, TJ, thank you. And now a quick look at what we're working on for eyewitness.